The truth is that learning web development is actually really easy. Within three months of studying free CodeCamp and watching YouTube videos, I was ready to start applying for jobs. That would be nice, right? Unfortunately, that wasn't my reality. So what's it really like to learn how to code as a self-taught developer? When I started my web development journey, I had no idea what it would be like. I kind of assumed that it would be like any other skill that public school taught me. I felt that I could study a whole lot, write a lot of notes, take some tests, and that would be it. I would know everything. Well, I was wrong, and the reality smacked me in the face. I can't even begin to tell you how many times I wanted to put my fist through my laptop because something wasn't working. Learning to code has been one of the hardest, most frustrating things I've ever had to do. That's because it's really hard to learn how to code. You're not learning how to mow a lawn or clean a toilet. Both things that I had to do in my last career, by the way. You're learning a skill that most won't ever even attempt to learn because it's too difficult. So needless to say that you're not going to get it right away. I had to learn from five different resources over a period of three months before I even began to become comfortable with understanding the basic concepts of JavaScript, and you might experience this too. During this time, I wanted to quit weekly. I felt like I was a loser, like I was stupid, I was disappointed with myself, and I felt very stressed. It's okay to feel like this though. Many people do. The path to learning is going to take you way longer than you think it is. After thinking about what I said earlier regarding how difficult it is, are you really giving yourself enough time? Most of us don't give ourselves enough time, and I think there's two reasons for this. One, you're comparing yourself to others. And two, you're listening to the scammers who are telling you how fast you can learn to become a web developer by taking their course. The truth is that it takes as long as you need it to take. There's no set time to learn a programming language. I'd like to be an expert in JavaScript tomorrow, but that's just not going to happen. Learning can also be very lonely. If you keep to yourself and have no support system, you might not make it. That's because you'll probably think that you're not understanding a topic while everyone else is. The truth is that you need to talk to people who are going through what you're going through. Also, this is a very good way to find a mentor. I have more than one and they all came from LinkedIn. I'll talk about that in another video. I think the best way to find and learn from other web developers is through LinkedIn. Speaking of which, go follow me. The link is in the description. There's going to be times where you have no idea what you're doing and you're going to feel like coding isn't for you. I I've learned that's called imposter syndrome. It affects everyone and it's one of the hardest things to deal with as a self-taught dev. I think this comes from comparing ourselves to others. We see someone else who's doing what we want to be doing or knows what we want to know and then we compare ourselves to that standard. The truth is what we see is usually only a fraction of the work that people put into getting where they are. We don't see all the restless nights. We don't see all the sacrifices that others make. We don't see all the hard work that people put into learning a new skill. For every overnight success story, that you see there's thousands of hours of work that went into that. You just don't see it. You need to stop comparing yourself to everyone else and just focus on the progress that you've made since day one. That's the real measure of your success. You'll find that while you're learning, you will lose motivation. It may not happen in the first few weeks or even the first few months, but I can guarantee that time will come. The great news about this is that motivation does not matter. We actually focus too much on motivation. If I only did things when I was motivated to do them, I would never get out of bed. Instead of motivation, develop a habit. Set aside some time every day at the same time or as often as you can and dedicate that time to studying code. You'll find that over some time, it'll be easier and easier to stick to this. I actually have a secret about this. Tell yourself that you're only going to dedicate about 20 minutes a day to studying code. Eventually, you'll see that your 20 minutes turns into 40 minutes, an hour, or even two hours. You'll see how fast time goes by and you'll find yourself going way over those 20 minutes. So this is what learning web development is really like. There are some harsh realities here, but the truth is that it's very doable. No, it's not as easy as everyone makes it out to seem, but if other people like myself can get through it, then you can. If you're experiencing any of the things that I talked about, then go ahead and let me know in the comments. And if you're interested in following me along my web development journey, go ahead and subscribe.